Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, this is me going to two of the weekly contest 374, minimum number of coins to be added. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this one is kind of very tricky. Um, and I took a while, I took 11 minutes, and I knew the idea already. So I think I was just debugging something silly for a little bit, because um, I had an off by one, and then I just kind of, went about it the wrong way but uh, and I got two wrong and one wrong answer so yeah so the reason why some people got it very quickly is because like I said I think this is a leak code problem um, somewhere uh, as well like the, the basis for this problem is a leak code problem somewhere and this is the idea of a sort of a greedy problem right so basically okay first you have to sort the coins so let's say you have coins in ascending order right then, um, then, then, okay. Then now, let's say your smallest coin is some number, I don't know, X, right? And so that means that you're, you're missing numbers from 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 all the way to X minus 1. So, yeah, so what do you do here? Well, um... The first is to add the smallest number that you can because you, have, you need to you need to put it in there, right? So it's going to be one. So now your range goes from nothing to to one, right? And then now what, what can you do? The next number to add is going to be two um, because now you can re reach all numbers from zero to one. And now with the number two, what happens? Then now you can hit uh, one, two, and three, right? Uh, and then now, if it's still, you know, if x is still bigger than 3, what happens? Well, then now, what number do you add? Actually, it turns out the number is 4. Why? Because uh, because now, well, you, you could already do 1, 2, and 3, but if you add 4, then you could do 1, one 2, 3, and then also 1, uh, you could do 4 by itself, but then also 1 plus 4, 2 plus 4, 3 plus 4, right? So then now it goes to five, six, seven, right? Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the idea. And you can add any number smaller than x, but the optimal one is going to be the one that is one bigger than the other one because basically for any number smaller than, well, let's say there, there are only three scenarios, right? And you can kind of do this math or uh, observation yourself. One is that, let's say we have, you could do all the numbers from 1 to 7. Well, let's say you choose a number like 6, right? Then what happens? Well, then this goes to 13, which is fine. You know, it, it's a better number. But then uh, then now, if you choose 8, right? 8 encompasses all of the previous 7 plus one more number. So this is going to give you x plus one number. So that is going to be, in fact, optimal. Uh, you cannot choose a bigger number because let's say you choose 10 and you're missing number 8 and 9, right? So so that's basically the idea of x plus 1. So that's the greedy way. And now, let's say you have a coins, you sort it by uh, numbers and then you just do it one at a time, um, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and this is not sorted. I actually thought the input was going to be sorted for some reason and then I, I got a little bit confused. But yeah, here, one by itself, you create 0 to 1, I guess 0 to 1 maybe, to help, I forget the part. So now you add the number 2, and now you go 2 and 3, uh, right? And then now with the 4, now that you add the 4 manually, now that you add the 4, the 4 allows you to go up to 4, 5, 6, 7, and then now you add the 5, uh, yeah. The five lets you add, remember, five to any of these other numbers in the past. So you're kind of like shifting it. And now it goes all the way to to uh, 12 and then so forth, dot, dot, dot. This is a way hard problem to get right for sure. Um, but that's basically the idea. And this is the code. Uh, I think the only, I mean, I, I not going to lie, it took me 11 minutes and I, I remember the previous problem, though apparently not enough because if I 
if I remembered it precisely or if I just Googled it or something, I probably could have gotten this much faster because I, I would have remembered it. But I did, know, I did have an off by one here, which cost me a lot of time. And because I, I thought it was something else to fix it. But, uh, but yeah, and basically now for every coin that you see, remember that if the coin is bigger than your current max plus one, um, then you have to fill that gap, right? Meaning that if, if your max is, say, seven, that means that that you can do every number from zero to seven, or maybe one to seven, I forget how they phrase it, but either way, right? So if, if X is, say, a 10, then now that means that you cannot get to eight, nine, or, or nine, or 10. Well, yeah, I guess eight or nine, right? So to fix that, you have to add a number and you cannot add nine because nine you're still missing eight so you're going to add eight because of greedy and optimal right so then now then you can go up to 18 and then uh, you add eight and it goes up to 15 and then now you see 10 and of course you can add 10 to every other previous number so then that's the way you built it and that's basically the idea here that's why it's mx plus one because um oh yeah that's why right. if x is eight then you don't need to do eight there's no gap because by the time you put x you put an eight down you already filled everything from you know uh one to fifteen and then here is if you still haven't reached the target then you have to add more coins and this is the same logic but uh but in this case it is mx and not mx plus one because you're not using target right you just have to reach target or more so yeah um yeah so what's the complexity here right it turns out that you know you can do this in well o of n because that's the number of coins um plus log of target time right and you can see this very quick easily i mean i, I guess we saw it actually so i lied about the o of n it's n log n <laughs> i forgot i forgot the sorting again twice right plus log of t for target but uh, and the target part you can see very easily because mx uh, m, it's going to double every time uh, pretty much at least uh, so that means that this loop is going to be at most o of log target which is linear in the size of target but uh, and this is you know linear because uh, as I this is the same right it, it only goes up to the max um, but of course, it gets dominated by sorting. So yeah, uh, that's right for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, you can watch me sell it live during the virtual contest now. Uh, okay, let's get a All right, at least I didn't make a silly mistake. Not good for it. All right. Um, Subsequence that has to be unique. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. I feel like this was an, a problem we've seen, so that's why maybe that's a little bit weird, but. Because I don't think this is an easy problem, but I think people have seen it before, so. Um, What am I doing? Mm-hmm. 
Am I confusing problems? Maybe I'm confusing problems. It is like some sort of weird greedy, but I'm not doing it right. In theory, you could keep on adding one, right? I guess it would never be minimal. So how do we figure out what's minimal? So this is all the numbers you could that up goes up to one. And now Maybe. Hmm. Why is there only one? I'm just confused. Uh, today is not a good day for coding for me. One zero. Oh, I have to do target. That's why. What, what am I doing? Uh, but I'm still wrong in the other part, but uh, I think I have to at least do that. That's the part that I got confused with. Uh, okay, so one. Okay, so let's see the first one, right? 19, so one, we put in the number one, but I think I add an extra one by accident because I put in the one always for X. Um, This is good. I'm not sure if this is good or I need to fix this part as well. Uh, I think this is because we don't get to add this coin where here we would add X instead. Coin. 
one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, four, sixteen. Add a seventeen. Why? What is this? That's not right, right? Oh, because we add the ten thousand coin after that, and that does not. Hmm. This is annoying, is it? So after thirty-two thousand, what does this mean? And we have sixty-five thousand. Okay, sixty-five. I feel like this should be this ten, right? But then now the other ones are wrong. Am I wrong here? The one coin. Oh no, because you don't want to add the first one. Right? Uh, maybe this. Nope. Why am I sure? <laughs> Mad do I do is right, but I'm messing it up. The edge case when uh, when the smallest number is not one. Oh, when is it exactly? Should add the coin. So what happens? If X is too big, then what, what happens? Then there's a gap. That's basically what, what it's saying. Between MX and X, right? So then you just add MX plus one, and that'll be Gucci. But if it's MX is one, then it's saying that I have a gap between, which is true, but adding X solves it, right? Maybe this, maybe that's what I needed. Mm, I mean, fix the other stuff and not this one. What's the second one? Uh, wow, today is just struggling. I don't need to add one. Why don't I need to add one? Add coin two, okay. We add coin two. And then now we have one, we add the coin two. Now we have three, seven. Oh, it's not sorted. That's why. I thought I sorted it. That's why. I thought I, I, I like that was my first thought when I saw this problem. You have to sort it. But then I just, and then it led to all sorts of confusion as a result. Uh, okay, fine. Um, I think the tricky part is because I, I really thought that I had sorted it. So once you kind of had that idea, you just don't, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, the explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.